In previous video, we look on how to create music with AI by utilizing Refusion, which is totally free. You can create as many songs as you want it, or you can go and use it on a server where you can also create some very interesting music. But here is a little bit catch because it's only 50 credits. You can use daily. And beside that, if you want to use the advanced, you kind of need purchase subscribe. But this is all online based kind of services. So I found one very interesting uh, AI music generator that performed very well. Honestly, it does not perform on level what is these applications can do so far, but I think it's have a very great potential. And uh, what I'm speaking about, it is UE. I don't know how properly it says <laughs> UE. And it's actually done for the Windows or Linux or other platforms. So you can install on your machine and running. And best of all, it can run on 24, 16 or 8. They have a low DRAM model. So you can run on your computers. So let's go ahead and look how we can install what pluses, minuses, and how it's overall perform. Because I work on Windows platform, we look on couple installations one you can perform directly from command prompt and by the way all links will be down below so you can try by yourself but if we scroll down to installations you'll notice it's have it right here windows installation we have it for windows it's also right there and this is um straightforward you create directory use it github to clone repository and if you're going step by step i did install it it was some few adjustments, but general, it's not that hard. It's work very well, but you do need to have some UI for this running. And if you notice right on the top, it's have it UI interface right there. But that is can run in a Docker and other things. So it's required a little bit more complex installations. Um, personally, I found actually using Pinocchio was much easier and more a uh, simpler install literally almost with one click well it took a little bit more than one click the only problem what i found with the pinocchio installations was a little bit harder to select what models i want run and how much vram i want to use to my machine but about this we'll speak a little bit later so let me show how you can install with pinocchio for this you just need to go to the pinocchio website and download it and install be sure you follow all instructions because that application developed and it does not have it certifications from Microsoft, which is normal. Um, all what does Microsoft, it says, charge you a lot of money and says, hey, it's application OK. But this is used by many users and verified. So it's safe application to run. After when you install it, the same page at Pinocchio.computer, right there you can see they already have it very nice set up for you so all what you need to do just a single click and it will open for you pinocchio applications where you can go and install it i mean it is very simple very one click installations it may take a little bit time till it's loading after it's completed you'll notice that is your applications preloaded and you will need select three different models for these specific mu music generations. You will have 16, 12, and 10 qubit. It is how big model. Currently, like this example, it's running on the smallest model. I want to perform faster and I want to che check, but problem with a smaller model, as the same with any um, like chart or any other ones, it's have a much smaller sampling um, databases can access so the sound will be a little bit more simpler does not provide so variety in other things bigger model have it more complex more transformers so it's could create a much better music to this but let's uh, even compare to this level so first let's look on this interface you notice right here we have a couple different interface one we have it um, configurations running and we insert your gender similar to other ones. For example, you can describe what music type you wanted. And notice right here, it's have an electronic bride uh, vo vocal. So it's need to be more kind of like distortion sound, which we'll check. And you just have it same your course. The um, 
tags for the verses, chorus, or um, intro, outro, it's a very similar what you're using some standard. This, if you use it Suno or Refusion, you will be very familiar with this type. And they are, of course, preloaded like this one example here. So you, all what you need to do in this case to try just click Generate. Before you generate, let's explain what's going on on here. We have a number of the sequences. It is how many are versus example. Anytime when you're increasing, obviously it will take more VRAM to use it. And this is orientated right now on eight gigabit, gigabyte. So let's go next below. It's a number of token sequences. So uh, the more complex you want, you want more tokens and longer song it will be producing. This is all default values. I have it um, RTX, 3090, which is have a 24 gigabyte ROM. So actually I can crank up a little bit higher and we'll can use it for the other songs. But this is again, we go from default. Notice right here, we also have the seed default as a random. If you want to repeat same song, be sure you copy your seed and reuse it. In this case, you will generate similar song. And down below where we have it, our song is generated, it's showing here. Let's play a little bit and see what is happening. Let me pop up volume. Of course, it's a little bit more canon because the microphone and speaker is going. Okay, from song what I was listening uh, before, I can tell um, because it's the smallest model, it does have it some distortion. It's not, honestly, it's not on a quality level of Refusion or Suno yet. But um, again, it was the smallest model. We need to understand this. And it was like minimum settings on the smallest. But voice was distorted. It is as electronic by vocal. So I'm testing also after on all different voices. But from what I tested, it's much more simplicity. It's a missing little bit of the depth. It's same with instruments, little bit flatter, does not have this um, variety or kind of when it's going with bridge and adjustment. But it is free model you can test and they're actively developing, which is very nice. And they already announced actually on the website. If you look here, they announced, hey, we're adding more new instruments. We're adding more new stuff. So it's very good because I say it's all actively developed. And because they develop in Chinese, they have it also distinguished between Mandarin and Chinese and other ones languages, which is very nice. It support full international model. If you have a bigger um, car, more vram accessible you can download it full model it is big full model which perform much better and have it more depth to this you can find this if you're going again link down below if you're going and check right here we have a full size model as well when you start the pinocchio you'll notice at the beginning it will be options as well before we start it you can see it have it options to upload it voice, uh, music reference or vocal reference. So you also can have it reference or audio music. Best things about this, it is private. It's run on your personal computer. So whatever you do, it does not go to internet. You can unplug your cable and it's still working just fine. And that is a very great uh, for creating music and because also it's done under Apache done under uh, open software that music what you're creating it is open source so you can use it in your commercial products and other things but again remember I'm not a lawyer best if you refer reference to their own documentations and apply whatever the rights is there let's see what kind of options we can select before we start or a server so right here our um year it's uh, not running and as it's preloading inside the pinocchio on the left side you'll notice we have an option we have it our normal mode with the three different models 16 12 and 10 gigabyte we also have it options for the start with audio input 
which is will be similar like you do in the Refusion or Suna when you can have it vocal or music audio files as a reference you can upload at them and it will generate it based on decoding those music files in our case we're going to look on some of these notice we have it here 10 gigabit 20 uh, 12 and 16 vram full model before i was run on 10 which is quantized and it's because some quality is not up to there because smaller model can run on um, lower kind of um, model low ram um, video cards but quality also will suffer and as well as a uh, how long you can create music in this case so i'm going for example just go 16 full ram just go select there and you'll notice it will start running now okay we'll select click start and that will start preloading this um let you know when you uh, run first time the models is not loaded so models will load it after you selecting what of the format you want to run and depend on what model you're running some of those models may be not yet on your computer so i would recommend for you to go through each of this model try to at least launch them so the applications can go and download it all those models on your local computer just in case if for some reason you don't have an internet connection or something happened in the future but you want to work with this model at least you will have it in your local computer so you can just simply run without accessing the internet after your application start and running you can access of course configurations for the pinocchio as well you can access properties for the if you want to share your um, server with something else. Also, let me mention in the end one more thing. After you generate your songs, you can find them in your location. In my case, as installation was on Pinocchio, API, yet Git, it's for the uh, specific module installed, app, and parents. And after you're going inside the output, and right here you can find the uh, file was created notice you also have a different type of the stages you can ignore them this is depending on how many you created and you will have it some in stage one and two a file as is long created well i hope you find this one interesting and i have a good experiment let me know what you can create it and if you find something more interesting tools please share i always looking for some new creative way thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time